So there are a number of times in which we had a stunt double to do his stunts because a lot of stunts yeah. in the movie, a lot of big stunts. And um, we always had a stunt double there to do his thing. And he often say, I think I can do this myself. And we're all like, oh, not, not and mention, then he did it and he did it. Not Great. to mention the dancing and oh, yeah. like that. And That's true. Flipping over he, a wall. He's pretty multi-faceted. Guys, I am super stoked to get to talk about this movie. As a 90s kid, the original remains in my lexicon of rewatches. And uh, Good Burger 2 lived up. It really did. Uh, so you watched it. It's. I watched it uh, earlier this morning, actually, in preparation. And it was so much fun. Um, awesome. So Heath and Kevin, I wanted to come to you guys first, since you are the returning folks. Um, I mean, this is something that's been, you know, long awaited. You guys have talked before about, you know, always wanting to do it. What would you say was the biggest challenge in making the sequel happen? It was a project that was near and dear to a lot of people's hearts. And I think we wanted to make sure we got it right. So I think the real challenge for us was coming up with a story and script that would satisfy fans of the original, but also maybe tell a bigger uh, a story that was exciting for like the next generation of fans as well. And, and I know Everybody wanted to do it. It was really just a matter of when can everybody's schedules yeah. align. And also, they were really searching high and low for the right director. And it took yeah, six and, years. And there he yes. is. And finally, uh -huh. they, they found him. We found him. <laughs> just the, which made it all happen. I love that. And Phil, you do a great job of bringing these characters back to the screen uh, in a way that feels both true to the original as well as a very modern take to it. What was it like really trying to you know work with Heath and Kevin here and stay true to the original while also bringing your own vision for this property to the well, screen? Well, these two wrote an amazing script. And then obviously from the original, we got a lot of the actors, including Keenan and Kel, coming back. So it was like entering this sort of this lovely family. They welcomed me in with open arms. And uh, it was really easy after that. It was just fun. They were, it, was, it was great because everyone's been looking forward to this project, but then for the script to be really good was like, oh, okay, this is the great, this is, this is going to be just really fun. And, uh, and there was no stress about the whole, through the whole shoot. It was, the, the atmosphere was just really, really, everyone was delighted to be part of it, which was, which was great. That's good. You always want to make sure that everybody's as excited as you are to make it happen. And uh, yeah. it seems like everybody has been. One thing I love about this movie as a fan of the original is that the big bad is technically the same big bad, only the same sister this time. Uh, <laughs> how did that decision come about? Because I, I was surprised by that. I didn't see it anywhere in the marketing that it was the family relation. How did that come about? Uh, we definitely wanted it to be a surprise and a twist. And uh, that I guess we're spoiling now for everybody watching this. I haven't <laughs> yeah. seen the movie yet. But uh, <laughs> I, <didn't laughs> watch it. I can um, save it for after. <laughs> yes, maybe you save that part. But yeah, no, I think it was it was just one of the ideas we had as we were breaking the story. You know, again, we wanted to have the evil bad guy. And uh, at some point it dawned on us that there should be a connection to the original film. And so we were happy that it came out well. You know, one of these, the, the things that these guys did was there's a lot of, you kind of, if you've watched the original movie, then there's lots for you to discover in this new one. Like it's, oh, that's Kurt's sister, but it will be together. But if you haven't seen the original, then it still works, right? She's just like <laughs> evil villain baddie with some sort <laughs> yeah. of, it, 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 so it works for both sides, which is kind of a hard thing to do, but they, they sort of pulled that off really well. I think if you haven't seen the original, you're not going to be too confused by this film. I think you'll right. be able to follow yeah. what's yeah. happening yeah. just fine. <laughs> You guys do a great job of recapping it quick while also keeping true to, to those who have already seen it. Um, now, was there any talk about actually bringing Kurt back in for whether it be a cameo or whatnot? Because obviously you explain he's in jail, but was there ever a thought to actually have him come back? We have so many cameos for people yeah. coming back that it was a case of like, how can we get people in? People are getting incoming phone calls from... To loads from Mark Cuban to Gronk to tons of random people who the like surprised for viewers. So it was really hard to just fit the number of people who wanted to be in, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that was part of the challenge was almost how, you know, accommodating everybody that you would love to have in the film. Uh, you know, Kurt was a really important part of the first film and he was a great actor and it would be great to have him back and you know, maybe Good Burger Three. <laughs> yes. Good Burger 3, jail. where he, you he go to space. jail. He's been in jail for 27 <laughs> years just for what he did, just tainting something. Yeah, yeah. with his yeah. sister, though. With, this yeah. is like a family reunion right, thing right. in, the, in jail. Mm -hmm. It's good. 
they go for world dominance this time and that's yeah. and <laughs> global domination universal maybe <laughs> there you go that would be colonizing fun. on mars <laughs> <laughs> that would be a lot of fun to see now it's amazing that Kel remains just as much of a physical comedian now as he was back then. And uh, it, it really is. And he recently opened up about some of his own health concerns. Um, and I'm curious what it's been like seeing, you know, him return and be just as game to, to get down and dirty for the role, as well as also, you know, knowing that it's 27 years later and he's no well, longer the 20 something. We had done a reboot of the original show, all that. And we brought him back and did some more uh, sketches with him. And he, it was like he, nothing changed. It was like no time. Physical it comedy and... again. We thought, oh, wow, we can do. There was no limitations. Yeah, he's this so. guy's in peak physical shape. Yeah. You know? I mean, he yeah. he gets up at like 4 a.m. to work out. And, and uh, yeah, we just roll the cameras and let him go nuts and. Just to make sure you keep the camera wide enough to catch all the action. Yeah, he's a real, phys he's a yeah. really good physical comedian and really thought through and really game for trying everything. So there are a number of times when we had a stunt double to do his stunts because a lot of stunts yeah. in the movie, a lot of big stunts. And um, we always had a stunt double there to do his thing. And he often say, I think I can do this myself. And we're like, oh, not, not and mention, then he did it and he did it. Not Great. to mention the dancing and oh, yeah. that. And That's true. Flipping over he, a wall. He's pretty multi-faceted. It's incredible to watch every single yeah. time. Uh, <laughs> you mentioned him improv his own uh, physical beats and whatnot. Was there any one moment in particular that you were McCall really uh, stood out to you of those of that improv? Well, actually, the, the, the were a lot of, you know, because they improvise in, in their characters a lot, but a lot of the uh, stunts, can't you can't just improvise a stunt. So, 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 <laughs> like, oh, you better not. <laughs> like, it's not really safe. We didn't catch that one. But, um, yeah. but you know. Yeah, when he improv driving the car through the window. That yeah, was really it was inspiring. like, no, Cal, <laughs> you've gone too far. <laughs> Um, but but he was up for everything. Yeah, he's rollerblading around in the roller in the roller rink a lot, flipping over a wall, and you know, we have somebody there to do it for him. He's like, I think I I think I got it. I think I got it. Yeah, he's like, uh, okay, have a go. He's brilliant. I remember years ago we were doing the Keenan and Kel show, and we had a bit at the top of the show where we wanted Kel to juggle, and we just go, we should ask him if he could juggle. So we're like, can you? He goes, I'll, I'll learn to juggle, and he did. Like, <laughs> and by the time we shot it, at the end of the week, he's juggling, and we're like, okay, this guy, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> He can do anything. He's a star uh, yeah. level. And speaking of doing anything, before I let you guys go, I love that at the end, uh, you guys recreate the I'm a Dude song and you have it over <laughs> montages of the cast and crew behind the scenes. How did that come about? Because I feel like that's such a rarity to see as wide of the crew in behind the scenes footage as we the get with this. I actually did. I made another thing. film and I did that same thing on this other film. And it was just really nice for everyone to, to see it. Um, and so I wanted to do that here in advance, thinking, I hope we have fun. Like, I hope it works. <laughs> and then it, we had, everyone had such a blast. It was like a no-brainer. It's on the first day one. It was like, oh, this behind the scene thing is going to be great. Everyone was just up for it. Because a lot of cameos, people arrive, and sometimes on sets, they're like, oh, where do you want me to be? They're a little reluctant, like, how they got themselves into this. On this, they were like, so excited. Like, if you said, could you come and do this extra bit of filming? They're 100%, yes, now, let's go. Where can we, let, let me do as much as possible. So it was just fun, fun and easy. Well, this movie is incredibly fun, and I really cannot wait for people to see it, whether they be old fans or new. Uh, so, guys, thank you so much for taking the time. Congrats yeah. on doing such a, a phenomenal job. And I hope there's a three. I really do. I would love to see more <laughs> of these characters.